Rise is coming to AG soon. In this video, I will show you how to build her to maximize her damage. First of all, let's see what we can get from the event store. From the figure above, we know Claudia's unique skill upgrade chicks and her unique weapon upgrade material are available. Also, Rise Limited furniture is included. If you wanna redeem all the goodies in the store, you're gonna need 7980 event coins. If you don't care about the research keys and cakes, you will need 6,700 event coins. The best place to farm the event coin and EXP is still EX3 so we can save a lot of stamina. I will post the EXP you can gain for each stage. Let's get back to the build guide for Raza. Raza's stats are just average among the AG girls. But she has really powerful skills. The first skill is to mark the enemy for 2 rounds and gain 20 energy. Her passive is, whenever a teammate including herself got hit, she will increase 20 energy. If the energy achieves 100, her passive will be triggered. She will burn all her energy and deal AoE damage to the enemy team. 50% chance to lower the enemy's defense for 2 rounds. If a critical hit is triggered, the critical damage will increase by 20%. The damage amplifier of the max level passive is 107%. Her third skill is the AoE damage skill. The enemy team can't get box and heal for two rounds. When a critical hit occurs, the critical damage will increase 20%. The damage amplifier is 150% and the cooldown is reduced to four rounds when maxed. The recommendation for the skill upgrade order is to max her passive first then her AoE skill and last the first skill. To maximize Raza's influence on the battlefield, we should build her around her passive. Her performance is very good no matter it is PvP or PvE. I highly recommend every player should pull one from the event. I know a lot of Epic 7 fans will say her skill sets are exactly the same as Verona. But we can't just copy the same build from Epic 7. Rise's equipment recommendation, whether PvP or PvE, will not consider speed sets and attack sets at this stage. In AG, critical damage set whether or not you can exceed 350% critical damage, attack set can't make up the gap. Epic 7 might have a limit for critical damage but AG can surpass 350% crit damage. Another advantage of using the critical damage set is that the lower limit is very high, compared to the other two sets. The critical damage set to reach 300 critical damage is very simple. Even if the number 5 position we don't use critical damage set, we can still achieve 340 critical damage. Let me do the math for you. According to the minimum base, 12% initial crit, critical, and crit damage set. The critical rate should be 45 plus 12 plus 12 equals 69. We will just need one purple critical rate attribute to achieve an 80% rate. In conclusion, the critical damage set has better performance than the attack set if you build it right. According to my test, for whales, the best set is critical damage and counter engine sets. The counter engine set is so powerful on Raza because of her passive. This build will trigger her passive more often and increase her critical damage even more. But remember to build her critical rate up as well. If you can trigger critical hits often, this build is not for you. For low standards and free to play, we can use Lux Steel and Counter Engine sets. The damage will be lower but Raza is really hard to get killed with this set. That is it for today's content. Please give me a like if you find it useful. Peace out.